This is how to update child sheets when the parent or template sheet changes. So to start with, I've already set up what my template should be doing and what it looks like. I've got a sales tracker here with date of sale, the item number, the original cost of the item to the company, how much that item retails for, any discount given for that item in the sale, what the net was based on that discount, and then I've set right now that the salesperson is going to get a 20% commission. So if they sold something for net of $570, they're going to get a commission of $11.40, which is 20% off that sale. And then the profit to the company in this is $58.60. Okay, that's great. But what I really want is to set this up to multiple sheets for each salesperson. So let's say I have over here a Spencer sheet. And then let's say I also have a Michael sheet and a Tiffany sheet. And these are my three sales reps. Okay. What I want to do is if I need to update any of the formulas, I can update that once here on the template and that change will flow through to the different sheets. For instance, if I need to change the commission from 20% to let's say 25% or 18%, rather than going through each sheet and changing that, I'm going to change it once and that's going to flow through to all of them. Now, I've already set up my formulas. I'm gonna use control and the back tick to display all formulas. In F1, G1, and H1, I have my three formulas, which are simply giving me the net, which is retail minus discount, the commission, which is net times the commission rate I'm using, 20%, and then profit, which is the net sale minus the commission minus the cost, is how I've derived that. Now I've already copied over my three tabs, and let's go ahead and put some different sales onto there. So Spencer sold one on shirt. Let's go ahead and use this as the sale for Spencer. For Michael, get a sale on 12.7. Item 554, which costs $550, but it retails for $700. You gave a discount of $50. Get rid of the show formulas. So net sale of $650, commission of $13, and a profit to the company of $87. Tiffany has two sales on 12.9. An item 554 and an item 555. So she sold one of each. Let's go get this, these values again. And just paste those in. All right, so because the formulas are the same, it's obviously giving me all of the same values. All right, the 555 sale, 500, 600, 30, 570. 500, 600, 30, 570. And the 550 sale, 750, 550, 750. However, she was able to sell this one at full price. I'll page down instead of delete. <laughs> delete. And a discount here of 45. Okay, that's what I'm showing. So now everything's set up. We can go ahead and start the script. Again, what I'm trying to do, if I need to change the commission, I want that formula to update on all three of the child sheets without having to make any changes to the file sheets themselves, to the child sheets. Extensions app script. And of course it always has the standard my function in here. I'll make the screen a little bit bigger so we can see that better on the screen. We're gonna be using an on edit function. And as I always like to do, if not e, so if there is no edit value, throw, do not run from editor. That way, if you try to run this, I'll just show what that does. If you try to run it, it'll just say don't run from editor because this is going to run every time that an edit is made. The function we're gonna use here is we're gonna call that update child sheets. We're gonna pass the entire E object into it. That E object contains things like the range, the source, the old values, the new values, all that kind of stuff. It's super helpful for us here. 
update child sheets. You'll recognize that immediately. So this is going to my source, SRC, is going to be the active sheet, the sheet where the edit was made. And const r is what I use for e.range. That's going to be the range, the cell, or the range of cells that was edited. Now I want to say if source.getName is not equal to template. In other words, if we're not editing the template, then all we're going to do is return. Return is what closes out a function. Not always. You, you can close it without a return function, but return sends something back. All we're doing is saying return nothing. So end, quit, if you don't, if this edit was not made on the template. Now, we're also going to do some testing to see what kind of edit we want. We'll look at that in just a moment. But for now, let's just do logger.log. .log, pass. And this is just going to log out to my execution log. If there were any, there's the one that we ran. If there were any edits that passed. So we're going to make an edit here on Spencer. Spencer sheet. And we're going to make an edit here. Template sheet. I really don't care what's in those. All that matters is that an edit was made. So here's the first one. This was the Spencer edit. And no logs were available because it saw that this was not on the template sheet. So it didn't get to that line. Let's look at the other one. And this one passed because the edit was made on the template sheet. All right, now what we're going to want to use is we need the, the formula if the formula was updated. And right now that's all I'm caring about is updating formulas. So. Let's actually go look at what objects are available in the simple triggers. So if I go to on edit, I want the event objects. There we go. On edit, I have authentication mode, not useful here. The old value, what it was, the range, the source, trigger ID, the user, and the value. That's what I can get out of the actual object, that E that gets passed. Okay, It's missing something I need, though, because the value isn't always going to show me what I want. Let's go ahead and do E.value. So we're just going to log out what the value is. And for simplicity, we're just going to log out template. Takes a minute for the executions to come through sometimes. Yeah, we're just going to log out e dot value. It was edited on the template sheet. So there it is. So we just said template sheet. Excellent. Now let's do my new value is going to be equals count a of these four. Circular reference challenges. It's fine. Probably my biggest complaint is how long it takes for logs to come through. All right, that gave me count A. So that will give me the formula, but I want to make sure that I am only getting a formula. So instead of logging the actual value, what I'm going to log is r.getValue, not value, r.getFormula. And that's going to return one of two things. If there is a formula, it will return the formula. If not, it's going to be blank which we can use in here. So let's show that. If I do, and yeah, let's go ahead and keep logging the value as well so we can see the difference between them. I'm gonna do log template sheet edit. And then my other one is going to be equals sum sequence or there's my two 
edits that I just made, one does not have a formula, one is a formula. So check the logs. So this was the second one. So e dot value and r dot get formula are returning the same. On this one, r dot get formula is not returning anything. And that's the one I want. That's going to make it easier to test on this. So I can say in my initial if statement, if r dot get formula is blank. It doesn't throw an error, so I can't just say not r dot get formula. That'd be way simple, but we can't do that. We it actually is returning a blank. So if we edit the template sheet and we edit a formula, then it's going to continue. Otherwise, it's going to quit out. Now, here what I want to do is loop through the other sheets and update the same thing on them. So what I'm going to do is const sheets equals spreadsheet app dot get active dot get sheets. Then I'm going to loop through them all. Or let I in sheets. And I want let SS. And that's going to be my active sheet. So SS equals sheets I. Oops. If ss.getName equals template. So if we're on the template sheet, continue, which just moves to the next set of the loop. Okay, so I want to obviously skip the template sheet. That's where we're making the edit to begin with. But if it's but if we're looking at any other sheet, then go ahead and do the next thing. My next thing is going to be ss.getRange r, which is my range value that I set up here on line nine, r dot get a one notation. The reason I'm actually doing get a one notation instead of just passing r is r sometimes includes data about the sheet name. I don't want that. I just want this range on that other tab. Dot set formula. E dot value. Right, we already saw that it's returning the same off of e dot value or r dot get formula. The reason I'm going to use r dot get formula here is to make it easier to compare. Down here, I can go ahead and use e dot value because once we're here, e dot value is the same as r dot get formula, but the object is faster. The object value is faster to get than the formula. So this is all I'm doing. Save that. If the edit was on template, and it was a formula, then loop through all the sheets here. And on each non-template sheet, set that range value equal to what was edited. So I'm going to come to my commission. Looks like I need to get rid of all these so that it actually evaluates properly. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and edit my commission to, let's say, 50%. OK. So I update the commission there. We don't have any logs here, so there's nothing to check. However, if we come to here, we're seeing that this formula is now F2 through F times 0.5, times 0.5, and times 0.5. So it did exactly what we wanted. And we can show it the other way as well to prove that. Let's put it back to 0.02. It immediately updates here, and here, here, and here. So for each sheet, it looked at the edit, it applied that edit to the same range on the child sheet. Now I also want to show quickly that this is also doable if we have different files rather than just the same file. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of the tracker. We're going to call it Spencer. It's going to bring the script and that's okay. You know what, let's go ahead and not Make the copy, let's make a new sheet. Call it Spencer. There's a little more work to do to make it work this way where it works on different sheets, but it's still really cool. 
I'm going to copy over all the data from the Spencer sheet on this tab, on this file. Make that easy to see. All right, so this is exactly what we have on this file with the spacing difference for some reason, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to comment out that so we can work without it trying to update both. For this, I will need an installed trigger because we are accessing a different sheet. Function update external child sheets. Still E. I'm gonna go ahead and start by copying all of this. Because for most of it, it's gonna be the same. The difference is once we've passed here, rather than the const sheets, I need to get all of their IDs. I'm gonna put that into an array so that I can loop through them if we had multiple. So this here is the sheet ID. It's the unique identifier for each sheet. There's this one's unique ID all the way through here. Here's this one's unique ID. So I'm gonna copy that to here. Still, let's go ahead and use let ss. Now I want for let i in sheets, ss equals spreadsheet app dot open by ID sheets i. That's the only thing I have to change. So down here, sheets is equal to get sheets on the active spreadsheet. And here, sheets, I'm declaring as an array of sheet IDs, which I can then loop through and set SS equal to open by ID, get, get that other sheet by ID. Okay, I can actually get rid of this line because I'm not gonna have a template I'm not gonna have a template tab in this file. It's just gonna be the main sheet. So now I can just do dot get sheets zero is how you can be guaranteed to get the first tab in any sheet is with that dot get sheets zero. It gets the first element in the array of get sheets. Okay. Now for this to work, I do need to set a trigger. Update external child sheets, event sources from spreadsheet event type is on edit, so every time an edit is made. Now it's going to ask me for permissions because when I'm installing the trigger, I'm installing the permissions on my account. But anything I've written, I have no problem granting all of the permissions. Great, so my trigger has been made. Currently my commission is set to 20% back here on the template. I'm going to go ahead and update that again to 50%. It was just really easy to see the change. And we can see you actually saw the change, right, where it went from 20% to 50%. Let's do that again. And over here, we wait a minute and it updates to 20%. Okay, so two different ways that you can do this. One, if it's on the same file, you can just loop through the various sheets of the file. The second, if you're doing multiple files, you can create an array here. And so my other one would look like other sheet ID. Right, obviously that's not it, but just that's how you would build it out. You could just keep putting on different sheet IDs and that would keep working for you. But it's a really simple algorithm. Look if the edit was made on the correct tab. Make sure that it was a formula that was edited. Loop through all the re relevant sheets. Almost said relative sheets. Relevant sheets. And on each one at that range, set the formula to the value. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and share if this has been of value. You can connect with me here in the comments. I do try to be fairly active in responding and helping in the comments. You can also email me, find me on my website, LinkedIn, Twitter, and I'm also very active on the official Google help forums for Sheets and AppScript.